Start thinking about mentality. Your herd mentality, mob mentality, pack mentality, mamba mentality. What is a mentality? A mentality is a mindset. When you think about the best players in the world and what they do, like we talked about yesterday, what do you think their mentality is when they show up every day? What is it? And so I challenge all of you guys right now in your mind to think about what makes you different. Is it your talent? Is it your size? Is it your speed? Eventually, all that stuff gets equaled out. At some point, someone's going to be just as big as you. Someone's going to be just as fast. Someone's going to have just as much talent as you. How are you going to win that battle? What is it going to be? What makes you different? Yeah, it's, it's been an incredible feeling uh, knowing that we're going to get to play Nebraska and, and really get to, to start this season and have a season. It was no doubt hard, so when they, uh, when they re-announced the season, it kind of felt like I could breathe again. When we did get the word on September 16th, we were ready. You know, we never missed a beat. We never stopped practicing. You shouldn't be able to sleep right now if you don't feel like you're the best player in the nation at your position, man. So this is where we get better. Obviously, we were working hard before, but it was just kind of the uncertainty was like, okay, what are we working for, you know? Now that, you know, we have the assignment of Nebraska, you know, complete effort shift, focus shift, completely on them. The mantra right now is just taking just one game at a time and just living in the moment. I think a lot of times it's easy to get caught up in what's coming next, especially during this time in 2020. I mean, there's been hit after hit after hit, but I think the biggest thing right now for us to just focus one game at a time, one day at a time, and so just keep getting better every day. Our culture has been all built on one term, it's called fight. Fight to be the best version of yourself, fight. One of the things in our culture is how. And right underneath it says relentless effort, it's all of our facility, and that's what today is all about. The last couple of weeks, man, so, so fun. I've been on a practice field, been able to be put pads on, get the hit in and everything. Yeah, I mean, it becomes football when you put the pads on. Guys were itching to get out there with the pads on, helmets on, and really, you know, see, like, who's tough, who's who, and who's going to bring it on Saturdays. We've been going at it, like, for real. Go play as fast as you can play. Go be as physical as you can play. Relentless effort, fly around, fastest team in America. Fight on three. One, two, three. <laughs> As soon as you get the pads on, it becomes real. So as soon as we got that word on September 16th, we knew what we had in mind. We knew we had to go to work, and we did that. Yeah, it was, it was definitely awesome. You know, it's always a, a great time when, when the whole team's back in the shoe. Just having that energy in the stadium. Every time I go in the stadium, I do the same thing. I look around. It don't be nobody in the stadium, but I just imagine everybody in the stadium. I do the same thing every time. We only get eight this season, and that's it. That's all we're guaranteed. Yes, this has to be one. Anytime I go into the shoe, it's, it's like home almost. It's become something so critically important to me and something that I love so much. Everybody listen to me for a second. There's a reason why we all play. Weirdly, one of the biggest conversations about this whole time has been how will it be playing with no fans and I think Coach Day's done a great job of getting us in the stadium as much as we can. While there may not be bodies in the stadium, their spirits are here. It's definitely going to be different, you know, going to a stadium with less people. And we know Buckeye Nation's on our back. We know Buckeye Nation's behind us, supporting us. You can't look at it like an empty stadium when we're on the road. It's not. You're running out of the tunnel. They're going, oh, age. I owe loud. I think about the people who played on this football team and came through before me and just wanted to do those people proud because they paved the path to where we are now. Legends have played in that stadium. It's a tradition, it's a legacy that, that we have to fulfill. When someone walks into this stadium, they're playing everybody. Their spirits are here with you. Yeah, I think this team is capable of so many things. 
I think just through the whole coronavirus pandemic, um, having a season canceled, you really saw the resilience of this team. We're going to be the most prepared team in the country, in my opinion. And that's just a testament to how great our coaching staff is. I think it's going to be scary. I mean, the incredible like motivation we have just amplifies it, you know, by 10. There's an old saying that Cam Newton used to say to me every 7-on-7 seven seven game, we don't have to do anything special to be special. So if we all go out there and do our jobs and do what we're supposed to do, the, the sky's the limit. First thing I want to tell you, first thing I want to say to you is I want to thank you. I want to thank Coach Day for the opportunity to be back here. I want to thank every coach that's here for the opportunity to work with some of the finest men in America. I think the reason that's most important for all of us is that opportunity to walk down that tunnel on a Saturday afternoon. To walk down that tunnel with a bunch of guys into that stadium, into our place, into our house, into our shoe on a Saturday afternoon. To know that you are going to battle with the men that you will sacrifice everything within your being for. To know that you are going to go pay a great price for your teammate and for your brother. That is what makes this group unique. I hate talking to you through a mask, but I gotta tell you, I'd talk to you through 10 masks. I would wear anything and do anything to be a part of this group. To be a part of this special fraternity of men. Because you are special. You don't understand how special you are. That is because you are men of great heart. You are men of great character. And I want you to understand that on Saturday afternoon, yeah. when that foot hits that ball, yeah. there's going to be 11 buckets running down there.